is my favorite hairspray. I always say outer space because number one, it holds the look. And if I'm gonna spend time waving out my hair, I want it to last me, not only all day, not only all night, but I want it to look good the next day and I wanna be able to restyle it with ease, without like any crunch, without any um, smoke when I'm using a curling iron over it. I wanna be able to get my brush through it without any tangles or anything. And r and Co's Outer Space Hairspray does the trick every time. Not only that, but how amazing is the packaging. I can't even tell you when people stop by my house or like I just told you I went on that trip with my family to Florida this weekend. Everybody was gravitating toward this packaging. It's so cute. And this lasts me a long time. So I haven't gone through that many bottles of Outer Space and I use it every single day because of its style and restyle power. So I am a huge, huge, huge fan of outer space. Okay, so the bottom set, do everything you can in your power to not touch it while it cools. Okay, so as it sets, it's just reinforcing that texture that you put in there. And what I'm gonna show you is the rest of my head, how I do it, and then I'm gonna show you how to get that look to last you a couple days. So I'm just gonna kind of take that top section down now I'm a big fan of a center part, but what I love about outer space, which you guys can see right now, which is on sale right now for $27.20 through Vera Shop. What I love about this so much um, is that it's absolutely incredible. It smells so good and it allows me to style this out and style. So I'm a big fan of a center part, but using outer space, you can switch up your part if you are feeling like you want to switch up your look again and again, because it is all about the versatility and outer space allows us to be versatile. Okay, so now I've sectioned the top. It's kind of just split down the back. I'm gonna take a section like this. So it's kind of like straight down and always, always, always wrapping away from the face. If you want an extra beachy look, you can alternate your curl direction, like do some back, some toward the face, wrap again toward the back but always try to end with these away from the face. Otherwise you're gonna end up with these like floppy things. And if you're always wondering like, oh, why does my curl pattern crazy or I get those fish hook things, pay attention to which way you're wrapping because that can make a huge difference. So I took a vertical section. I'm gonna put the clamp here, slide down the shaft, twist up. So you can really get a good look at the section. Next I'm gonna twist, slide, twist and then I'm going to smooth those ends. I'm not going to focus on curling them. In fact, when I'm done with this whole look, after I break it up with my favorite texture spray that I'll show you in just a few, you will see exactly how those smoothed out ends come to play. So again, you're going to curl. I don't really go all the way to the scalp. You can um, just be a little careful. If you're trying to figure out like, hey, I did this technique. I don't know why I'm not in love with it. Maybe you want to go a little bit higher up, closer to your scalp, but that's not really like, I kind of got a big head. So I'm, do, I'm doing everything I can to try to minimize the size of this dome. Slide down. And again, I'm a newer blonde. Like I have a lot of highlighting in here. That's kind of unusual for me, but I was sick of being alone in my house and needed to do a big change. So I went blonde. But I'm so hyper aware of any kind of potential damage that I can do. So I think it's important that you do whatever you can to minimize how often you need to, number one, wash, blow dry, and heat style. And number two, how long you're actually putting that heat on the strands, especially as you get towards the ends, because those are the ones that are the thirstiest. So if you're just joining us, I washed and blow dried with the Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. It's called Perfect for a reason. It works for all hair types all hair textures, smells amazing, UV protection, cruelty free. It's the best. So I'm working my way down. Now I'm going to show you. So these money pieces, which I'm obsessed with the money piece trend because it gives you those like power face frame highlights. But man, these are the sections we beat up the most when we style our hair. So I'm just extra, 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 super careful because this is where I have a ton of bleach and it's where I'm constantly fuss fussing with my hair. So, all right, going back to outer space, 
I'm just going to lock in that look. And um, as I mentioned before, outer space is the best. It lasts forever. One can will last you a long time. It'll allow you to style and restyle and restyle. Now, please keep in mind, this is not the finished look. This is the set. So if you're joining us now, please know that this is just the set. I'm going to break it up for you using my favorite texture spray. And you're going to love it, hopefully. So now again, going toward the back. All right. So I'm going to clamp the hair, slide it down, twist a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to twist it. And what I love about this is you really can't mess it up. So as I work toward those ends, I'm not going to leave the iron on for as long because those ends are very fragile. But luckily, I've prepped my hair with the High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. This is how much I use on wet hair. It's really not a lot. Okay. I always put it on my fingertips so that I can really see how much I'm applying to my hand. And then I fully saturate my palms, my fingertips so that I have an even amount everywhere. And on wet hair, I really concentrate the product on my ends, but I like that it's everywhere so I can do more of a gentle touch here. I can get it on my palms and kind of buff down any frizz, and I'm really in control this way. So that's High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. It's great. Um, okay, so next up, I'm going to take a little section here, work my way down, and I kind of love sectioning when I have a little bit of High Dive residue on my hands because it really gives me that control and added frizz protection. And you can get the High Dive through the Vera Shop app while we're live now and it's on sale for a special price so make sure you add that to your bag. It is a bestseller for a reason. You really can't go wrong. It's also amazing for air drying or diffusing natural curls, natural texture. Huge fan of High Dive. But it's great for all hair types and all hair textures it has Arnco's signature fragrance, which just is heavenly. I was at the airport and my sister walked past me and she said, wow, I love your perfume. It smells so good. And I hadn't used any perfume. I had just used Arnco Outer Space and High Dive. All right, so I'm working through my last couple sections right now. Twist, wrap, twist, wrap. Twist, wrap, and as you get towards the end, just smooth them out. Okay, so I'm on my last section. There's one little funky piece right there. Okay, clamp the hair, slide down, wrap up. Only leave the heat on for just a small amount if you have money pieces, any sort of lightener in the front. That way you can avoid breakage. Okay, there's one little piece right here that I don't love, so I'm going to just redo it. Okay, so now we're going back to our r &Co Outer Space Flexible Hairspray, which is pinned up on the screen right now because we have a special promo for you guys. It's only $27.20. Like I said, this bottle will last you forever, and it smells so good, and I can't wait for you to try it. It's, it's actually described as, let go of limits with outer space. The hairspray that stylists use on set to easily change looks. Now what that means, it's going to give you styling, versatility, and options. So you do something like this and add a bunch of texture in. You spray it. You let it cool. That's why I look crazy right now. You let it cool. And then when it's done, you break it up. And you can style it and restyle it and restyle it. And it's just the best. So, okay, while my hair is setting, I'm going to show you one other thing that I like to do. So I talked to you about my forehead drama. I like to kind of create the illusion of a curtain bang to minimize how wide my forehead is. And that's just a personal thing. It's like basically contouring, but with your hair. So I like to just spray it a little bit with the outer space. And then I like to use a flat iron. And I like to bend the hair in the direction I want it to go. So I'm going to very... Briefly, add a clamp of heat and push the hair where I want it to go. Now you see how I'm creating kind of this illusion of a curtain without actually cutting bangs. You know, this tool, we all have them at home. 
is the best because it can act as a curling iron, a flat iron. It can act as your little right hand person. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so it's super ringletty. It looks kind of insane, but now it's time to break it up. So I like to uh, do one thing before I do that. Now, because I prepped my hair with the high dive moisture and shine cream, I can use some heat styling tools on here without additional worry. So I'm gonna use this little comb and I'm gonna smooth out my ends. And I'm gonna take this iron and I'm just gonna hit it really carefully because I wanna get more of a contemporary modern look with this texture before I break it up. All right, so now my hair is ready to be broken up. So this is Arnco's Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. This is what 